All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. And we're going to get right down to business today. A lot of 2K news coming out, but um, y'all know the only thing in this world that I really care about is each and every one of my gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. Ooh, from the gym, too. Coming to you live with another video, man. Hey, look here, man. Hey, before you do anything, man, let's like the video up, sub if you new, and uh, let's just get this channel popping, man. We got 2K, hey, we're gonna give it a concerted effort for 2K21 if it don't work. I'm building another channel in the background, and we will be transitioning to that if this channel don't do nothing at all this year, That which means if we don't hit 100 grand. There's no reason I shouldn't hit 100 grand this year, man. I've been on YouTube for 10 years. 10, I can't get 10 grand a year? Man, something wrong with it, but I already know they're screwing me. But anyway, check it out, man. One thing I want to tell y'all, um, Mike Wong has been talking. He's not just been tweeting. He ain't been tweeting yet, but he has been talking. And uh, the talking, mm, some of the stuff is good. Some of it is bad. Um, I, I don't know what y'all really want me to say. But one thing that I do want to show y'all is, man, that you can get your tees in a breeze when you get them from Breeze Tees, man. Check it out, man. Real quick, custom t-shirts, custom masks, custom mouse pad, custom, uh, custom mugs. Uh, forgive me if I don't shake hands, pump day, all this stuff, beast mode activated. Hey, we got the JJ Reddick shooter shoot. You can do it in any color that you want, man. Y'all already don't be liking the video, so I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get paid some kind of how, man. We got the better sword and sorry. And, uh, you know, we go like that. But, on the Mike Wong. Now, Mike was talking about a few things today. And, uh, we're gonna look at it real quick. I just straight bit it off a of Brutal Sim video. I'm not even gonna lie to you because I don't have time to be going through this. And I found the one section that he was talking about. He was talking about shooting and, um, you know, some possible shooting changes and stuff like that. That's the only thing I really cared about in this whole video. Let's listen to what Mike had to say. This idea of esports. You know, I know a lot of people complain about dice rolls and missing full whites. Like, do you think that's something we need to go, like, to the extreme with? What I'm, I'm scared of, I guess, is like, that's something we need to go like to the extreme with this idea of esports. You know, yeah, I know a lot of people complain about dice rolls and missing full whites. Like, do you think that's something we need to go like to the extreme with? What I'm scared of, I guess, is like we make Team Pro Am or something, make it so that if you don't get a perfect release, you'll miss every single time. Like, is that an experience you think people will want? I just divide it up. I mean, that's what a lot of games of do. Of course so it's not. Like, you know how when you're choosing, you, you log into the games, like, what difficulty you want to play on? It's like, if there's a fun, unranked mode where it's not, it doesn't have to have a huge skill gap, you're just in there to have a good time with your friends. And when you go ranked, it's like, oh, now we're getting serious. Like, you can't mess up your release in a ranked mode. Um, I feel like that's the only way to keep, like, both sides of the people happy. The casual people that just want to hop on the game and have fun, and the competitive guys who are in there to try and get as good as humanly possible. I think you knew that, though, Mike. All right, so that's all I got to say about that, man. So we had Agent talking about it, and um, y'all already know what it is, man. I feel like I get where he was coming from, and I get what he's talking about, but, bro, can we can we really can we really talk about this fool for for like uh, one second, hold on, let's get the right player up here real quick. Can we talk about this for a second? Now, ranked and unranked. Your boy Agent has talked about ranked and unranked modes possibly ad nauseum for the last two to three years. And um, yeah, I, I just don't think it's an idea that really flies in 2K. You really, you already, I mean, they already got the closest thing. We got that. We don't need nothing like that. We had ranked this year. Nobody really played it. We had cages for the last two years. Hey, that's why all the scrubs hide. And that's why you got all of the people. In my opinion, the quote unquote ranked and unranked, that is uh, what you would call it. I, I would call cages unranked or what have you. And then the park is kind of like ranked and all of that stuff, man. Look, that's why you don't have any scrubs to beat up on that are running and stuff like that. That's why all the running is happening, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, because the, the bottom feeders that don't care about their records and just come out here to play the game and stuff like that, they in the cages. They in the cages with it. And you know people in the cages because we got people in the cages with double rep event in the cages. Like, you know, hey, hey, you know, you got you got me. I street cage, man. It is what it is. Uh, and we ain't talking about Luke either. But 
more interestingly, I was looking at what Mike, I want to know what y'all, you guys think about what Mike was saying when he was talking, look at the defense, man. This 3 and D guard is back. Or should I say rack? I say the 3 and D guard is rack. Um, I feel like, uh, rank the nothing rank. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't believe in that, man. I don't even really believe in skill-based matchmaking beyond a certain level. Yes, we do have to protect brand new, the newest of the new people that have never touched the game before and, and stuff like that that are just complete garbage and, and haven't improved over the years. I get that. But if you've been playing this game for years and you still trash, you don't need protecting, my guy. That's how I feel about it. Like, if you're bad, you're just bad. It ain't no protecting you. So, like, I see the people that have never played Call of Duty before make a brand new account, come on and play. Or just like with Apex Legends. You you come in with Apex Legends, they will let you play against trash bags for the first five or six games. But as soon as the algorithm figure out, figures out that you know what you're doing, that's a wrap. So I just don't feel like people need to be protected that, that much. Ooh, like those guys right there, people going to bite down forever. You telling me that we need to protect these guys right here because they bit down on that? And he just assumed that the guy, no, he don't need to be protected. He need to get smacked by that every single time until he figures it out. And and like, like right there, we, we want to protect people like that? Bro, bro, he went straight to the rim. Like, what? We don't, you shouldn't protect people off of skill level. We should protect them off of, are they just brand new to the game or not? They don't know what to expect. Once they know what to expect, it should just be what it is. Trades up, green bean money team splash down. And that's what you should expect when you're playing with me, which gets me to my next thing where Mike said, how would you guys feel about it if whites didn't go in? You understand what I'm saying? If full whites was a, was a thing, gonna, look at that, they bit down again. They don't need to be protected. Why are we protecting people like this when a ranked and not ranked? But it, uh, even if you do ranked and not ranked, you're just gonna have all the guys that are really good at the game to go to unranked and just do crazy, crazy stuff. Like, do you understand? Like, I get what I get what you're saying. That, uh, uh, but the assumption is that the 2K community is people that actually want to be better. When we do the cheesiest moves every year and the cheesiest everything every year, bro, ain't nobody trying to get better. So dudes just going to go into unranked mode and smack people and that's just going to be that. But how do y'all feel about what Mike was saying about if it's not green, it's not going in? Me, I'm cool with it. Like, I, I feel like since 2K18, ooh, look at the look at the drive. That's that scruff right there. Well, hey, wait, run that back. Run that back. I say run it back. Well, look at that. Look at that. Hey, if you if you to you to put some scrumph, some scrumph on your player, hey, you'll have the same thing. Well, run run that back. Ooh, look at that right there. Without strength, you can't get this move right here that I got right here. Look at that baseline swim move. Come here, get up, motherfucker. Woo, motherfucker, get up. Hey, anyway, that's just a little bit of what we're going to be bringing y'all in 2K, uh, 2K21, man, where we can do some stuff. But what I'm saying is, I feel like since 2K18, if it hasn't been for me, this is for me. If it wasn't green, it wasn't going in, with the exception of my uh, Pure Stretch 4 last year. But, yeah, if it wasn't green for me, trades up, green bean money team splash down. If it wasn't green for me, the shots haven't been going in. That's just being completely honest with you. Like, they haven't been going in. And even if we do decide to be like, hey, if it's not green, it's not going in. Or we just say, if it's not green, it only goes in at like a 25% rate, maybe a 20% rate, something like that. And that's an ultra green. Or if they try to fix it another way, which I feel like they can probably do, which would be, let's just do it like this. Widen the green window a little bit, like they did at the beginning of the year. It was a little bit easier to hit greens but or, or the green window was a little bit wider or those when well, you had the shot meter off those fringe uh those fringe whites if you had the shot meter off those turn green right so if we do it like that like they had at the beginning of the year where those are going to turn white regard those going to turn green regardless right and then if you um and if it's white then it's just not going to go in so it's easier to hit greens but if you don't hit it green, it's not going in. I mean, I could be, I could live with that. But I know a lot of people gonna be crybabies and be like, man, that's, that's gonna suck. We need, you know, that's, you know, nobody ain't trying to get out there and sweat like that. But let's be honest. Is it really hard to hit greens in this game? Should you really be hitting? And then we can do the perfect compromise. Hey, if it's white, it goes in 10% of the time from three. If it's white, okay? Uh, you can you can be like 25 to 30 percent of the time from two and then shot close it can be like 40 percent of the time but the further you get away from the basket the the less likely it is to go in 
if it's a white, which is it's already like that. But I'm just saying that if we do some hard percentages, or if it's a three, if you shot a three, you're gambling, you're not taking a two, you're shooting a three, you shoot a three, if it ain't green, it shouldn't go in, period. And then you get 10% from uh 10% from 18 feet. And then you move into the, to the free throw line, you get about 25%, you get shot close, maybe 40%, something like that. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I just feel like we've all played 2K enough. Shooting is easy enough. And if it ain't green, it, 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 it shouldn't go. But that's, that's my opinion. I could li I'm not saying that that's my opinion, but I could live with that. If they decided to go that direction, I could live with that. Because I can tell you, in 2K18, if it wasn't green for me, it probably wasn't going in. And then 2K19, I mean, with my stretch, with my other bills, if it wasn't green, it, it wasn't going in. But um, with my two-way playmaker, if it was green, I could I could, I could hit those. I, I, could, I had figured it out. But I just think we progressed to the point now where everybody's dealt with it all year to where, hey, look, we all used to. If it's not green, it's probably not going in. So why not? Let's, let's just take the next step and see where it goes. They can always adjust it. We know they can because now four whites are going in at an astronomical rate. But it is what it is. Like, I get what some people are going to say. What, so you should have to shoot the shot perfectly. You don't have to do that in real life, but you can't dunk on nine people in real life either, man. It's gotta be balanced. It's a video game that has to be balanced. And as such, we should just take these, take these steps like this, man. Test it out. We always test out the BS. So why not test out something like this that's gonna make people, and, and we understand, and just make them a little easier to hit greens, right? Make it a little bit easier. And if you got a, a shooting rating that's through the roof, I can understand if you hit whites at a higher rate. But I'm talking about the guys like me with a 71-3, a 73-3. If it ain't green, it it's probably shouldn't be going in. Like, as your shooting ability increases, yes, we can increase those numbers a little bit. But, I mean, for the most part, at the beginning of the year, if it wasn't green, it really wasn't going in. And everybody was fine with that. Nobody was mad. We just said, hey, I just better shoot greens. And that was that. And that meant that really let you know that a bomb wasn't gonna beat you because bombs can hit greens, especially if they had a 2K17 uh, shot, shot meter on. Y'all even coined that phrase, we don't fear nobody with a 2K17 shot meter on. Right now, we really not fearing nobody that got the shot meter on. Uh, like in the beginning of the year, we was like, yo, he got his shot meter off. He must know his shot. People were scared of that. Now it's become commonplace. And then, like, you know, it is what it is. But it's just crazy how the game evolves over the year, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Should we, should we go more toward this trend? Should we go a little bit more that way? We don't have to go all the way that way, but can we? Should we go a little bit more that way? I feel like we should. I mean, obviously not for layups and stuff. I ain't seen you. If a, if a person hit a green layup, somebody be like green. But you know it is what it is. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. I'm out at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Z, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Channel. God speak.